Gluten tag guys! In today's video, we'll talk about some important concepts for beginner. My name is Alex, and I'm the poor. As you can see, today we are in a different location and also with a new camera. So I hope that the annoying autofocus thing will be gone from now on and also that the video quality will be on fleek. Like already mentioned in the intro, today we'll talk about some important concepts for beginner. We've already looked at beginner training routines in the past and today we'll discuss the finer details, mainly what should you do in the first few training sessions and then also how should you progress. Uh, but first up, I just want to mention once again that the most important thing besides not getting hurt is consistency. So you should really try to find something first up that you enjoy. But keep in mind that enjoying something can also take a while. So maybe the first one or two sessions are not that great, but after a while you enjoy it. And the second thing is be realistic. It's better to try to go to the gym one or two times a week for the long run then it is for you to say, okay, I'm going to the gym six times a week. And then you do this for one week, two weeks, and the third week you just go three times. And by the fifth week you don't go at all. So really try to pick something that you can stick to in the long run. And going to the gym just one time a week is perfectly fine. Before we get to what should you do in the first few trainings and how should you progress your weights, we first need to look at the concept of progressive overload. And progressive overload is one of the key principles of strength training in general. And it just means doing more over time. More sets, more reps or more weight. For example, if you do 50 kilograms for 8 reps today, next time you'll either try to do 52 kilograms for 8 reps or 50 kilograms for 9 or maybe 10 reps. So with progressive overload, we try to do more than we did last time. And you can imagine that doing this over a long time will be very tricky because at some point you're just somewhere where you can't progress anymore. And as a beginner, you can now make it easy for yourself to progress by just starting very low. Because if you start already with a lot of volume and a lot of weight, it will be very hard for you to progress. But if you start with just a little bit, it will be easy for you to progress from week to week. Now we know that progressive overload can be increasing sets, reps or weight. But what is best for a beginner? And let's look at this by looking at the squats from the training routines that I showed you in the last videos. And there we had one warm-up set, then another warm-up set and then three working sets. Of course, in the first training, you have no idea what your working weight will be. So just start out very low and gradually work yourself up to something that you can easily do for eight reps. And the best thing would be that you do something for eight reps that you could do with good form for 10 to 12 reps. So it should be really easy to do just eight reps. I know it feels good to give all during training and to be really exhausted afterwards, but in the beginning, learning the exercise is much more important than pushing yourself really hard. And if you have not trained before, anything you will do will be a great exercise, even if you don't push it to the limit. For the first few trainings, I would suggest cutting down the sets by one set. So instead of two warm-up sets and three working sets, you have two warm-up sets and then two working sets. And like already mentioned before, choosing a weight that you could do for 10 to 12 reps but just doing six to eight with it so that you learn the movement. We decrease the sets because in the beginning it can be hard for your body to recover from all this work that it's not used to. So it makes sense for the first one, two or maybe even three weeks to cut the volume down even more. And after three weeks of training, you can increase to three sets once again. And just like before, we are still choosing a weight that we could do for 10 to 12 reps and just doing six to eight reps with it. And then after maybe three to four weeks, when you feel more comfortable with the exercise and the exercise execution is pretty good, then you can start pushing yourself more. And that means maybe doing a weight that you could do for eight reps, for seven or maybe even eight reps. And at this stage where we are comfortable with the exercises is now where the main focus becomes progressive overload. So let's say you did 40 kilograms for three sets of eight reps today. Next time you will try to do 42 kilograms for three sets with eight reps. The first time you try 42 kilograms, it's very likely that you will not be able to do eight reps with all the sets. So maybe you will get eight reps in the first set, then seven in the second, and maybe just five in the third. Then you just stay at 42 kilograms until you get three sets of eight reps. And then once again, you increase the weight. I would advise you to just increase the weight by a little bit every week. First up, because it's safer, because if you increase by a lot of weight, 
maybe you will not be able to do the exercise with the correct form and maybe even hurt yourself. And secondly, because increasing by a little bit will allow you to increase much more often. And this is very motivating because you can do more weight every or nearly every week. And it just feels good to see the progress and to feel like you're getting better. And if you increase from 40 straight to 50 kilograms, maybe you will be stuck there for four weeks until you can progress once again. And if you just increase by a little bit, you can progress every week and this is much more motivating. But I want to mention that small increase is relative because in some exercises like the deadlift and the squat, five kilograms can still be a small increase. And with other exercises like a bicep curl or a side raise, even two kilograms can be a big increase. All this does not just apply to beginners, but also to people who are re-entering training after a long while of abstinence, let's say a year or even more. So when you start training again after a long break, it is important not to orient yourself to what you did a year ago. And even if you did back then, let's say three times a week of five sets with 80 kilograms on the squat, don't look at this, but look at what you did the last year. And the last year when you didn't train, you did zero times a week of zero sets. So just start out somewhere between there. So let's say you do one time a week or even two times a week of two to three sets of squats and you try to progress up to where you were. Because if you start with where you were back then, right away, you have no wiggle room if you stagnate. And of course, also the weight you choose should not be influenced by what you did back then. So just choose a weight that you could do 10 reps comfortably and with good form and do eight reps with it for now. And just like for the beginners, slowly progress your way up. Although the word slowly should be taken with a grain of salt here because regaining strength you already had usually goes pretty quick. Now to sum everything up. First of all, be realistic and choose something that you could do in the long run. Secondly, the first few trainings are here just to learn the exercises. Everything else is not that important. The weight is not that important. You should learn the exercises. Thirdly, choose a weight that is low so that you can increase it very easily in the future. And fourthly, increase by a little bit, but very often. That's all for today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed it and I also hope that the camera quality will be good, but I feel like it's pretty good. Uh, if you liked the video, leave me a like, subscribe, leave some comments here, good for the algorithm. You're also very welcome to leave me some criticism down in the comments. This was Fed, thanks for watching. Like already mentioned in the intro, today we'll talk about important concepts for beginner. For example, going to the gym six times a week may just not be realistic for you. For example, going to the gym six for example, going to the gym six times a week may just not be realistic for you. And even if you can do it for three weeks, for example, for example, for example, for example, but what can a beginner learn from this? You can learn that so now how would the first few trainings so how could so in the first few training days trainings so in the first few training so in the first <clears throat> for the first few trainings I would advise you no. for the first few trainings my suggestion suggestion for the first few trainings my for the first few for the first few trainings for the first few trainings I would just the chest, fucking hell! Ugh. And try to get eight reps. <coughs> eight reps. Eight reps. Probably you will not be able to do eight reps with all the sets at first time. <coughs> do this next week. Yeah. Chances are though that you will not be able to do. You will not be. Mm. Chances are that the first time. First time. With 40 kilo. 42 kilograms. Chances are that 